Hello, Aquarius. Welcome back to Cut Above Tarot. Yay, yay. See, I changed up my little setting. I'm trying to do something different. Get a little more ambience. However, I got a short chill. I don't like chill short. Because I'm a short person, too. Well, not really short, but you know. So, Aquarius. My darling Aquarius. My forever, ever, ever, ever Aquarius. Aquarius. My darling Aquarius. Aquarius. Aquarius, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And if you're just passing by, you just want to view the cruise. I understand that, too. And I thank you for all the views. I thank you for the likes and the subscribes. And it does my heart happy to read your comments. Yay, yay. Now, Aquarius, I went ahead on and shuffled all your cards and stuff, got everything out. And uh, you got a lot going on. So from the 17th to the 23rd of November, 2022, there's a lot going on. However... Although these are for these uh, particular days, the energy may be for a different day. You know what I mean? Okay. On the 17th, Aquarius. Ooh, baby. You had a towel moment. You got a towel moment coming. It's going to be somebody that's uh, doing some, uh, want to win and some arguing, some fighting, and somebody did lose that. Somebody lost some lost something. But they left with more than what they had. I mean, they didn't leave with everything, all that they had. But, you know, they took a loss, this person. Mm-hmm. You got the devil card. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody be doing some lying, conniving, some stealing, uh, 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 trying to get the one up on somebody, uh, uh, fooling around probably with somebody's husband, a wife, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a friend, friend, you know. Oh, there was some stuff going on. There's some stuff going on on the 17th. Mm-hmm. And it was clarified with your money, baby. This shit up with your money. Something going on with the money. And it and it's a queen of pentacles. Okay. Yeah, this is a woman that has money. Yeah, she ooh, she was floored when she found out something about him going down with her money. Now check this out. He or she. Is a manager. Mm-hmm. Person got money. Kind of well to do. Now I think somebody either had got into an argument also uh with their manager or they the manager and they went off went off on somebody and there was a little scuffle up in this mother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was. Uh-huh. Now this cause I don't want you to leave me. However, it was upside down. So somebody walked the fuck out. Uh oh. Yeah, somebody walked out. Either they walked out or they was fired. Mm-hmm. On the 18th. Yeah. On the 18th. Now, let me tell you, some of this is a freaky because you, some of these cards was clarified with the same card. You got the six of cup. Okay? Feeling nostalgic. Uh, thinking about reminiscing over some things. Trying to rehash some stuff. Maybe giving a gift to somebody. Or, or feeling it being in your playful mode. Okay? I went back. Okay, and with the King of Wands, uh huh. So you and the King of Wands, uh, somebody in the energy of the King of Wands, you know, feeling kind of frisky, you know, and playful. Probably ran into somebody that you knew from the past, or somebody you used to kick it with, and y'all started having ideas and thoughts about when y'all was young, or the things y'all used to do, maybe when you was in college and stuff. Yeah, and it was clear. I mean, you got the Six of Wands again. I was clarified by the Six of Wands again. Okay, so y'all really off in it. You might even, ooh, baby. Yeah, y'all y'all really off into this energy. So this is somebody, I believe, that you uh you encountered in a in a uh, passionate way. And the reason I say that is because you or this other person is an ass worship. In other words, somebody that really like uh the way your derriere. Is, is is formed and how it moves. Okay. Uh, on the nineteenth. 
On the 19th, you have the Ten of Wands. You have a burden. You have something that's weighing heavy on you. Uh huh. But you, you at the at the uh, place where you about to put it down. Yep. You got the food cards. You finna take a chance. Now it could be that you taking a chance and you gonna go ahead on and rekindle this relationship with whoever this person you have nostalgic moments with. Or it could be a family member. Y'all sitting down thinking about how y'all used to run the business and stuff like that. You know. And so now, y'all thinking about just taking a leap of faith and just go back to it. Actually, this fool is the second card to the second card over here on the, on the 17th. I'm sorry, on the 18th. So this fool is going towards this king of wands. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, and the fool card, I mean, and the king of wands. Ooh, Lord. Yeah. The king of wands is looking toward the five, so somebody cutting their losses. Yeah. Good Lord Almighty. So the king of wands, you and the king of wands are hooked up. Y'all having some, y'all thinking about some things that happened in the past, probably some old past relationships and stuff, or y'all telling each other about your relationship, then you're thinking about how y'all was together. So now you're going to take a chance, Aquarius, and you're going toward the King of Wands, and the King of Wands said he cut his losses where he was. I guess that's a wonderful thing. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, baby, look here. Because uh, y'all in that big gorilla mode now. Look at that. Yeah, that's knocking boots like ain't no tomorrow, swinging from the chandelier. All kind of stuff. Y'all trying to outdo each other. Mm -hmm. But they say you're going to have some good luck. You're going to have some good luck. Okay? And they say this is your twin flame. Okay? Uh-huh. And they and their first name, a last name, or a, a letter, or initial, and their name is E. Okay? Don't have to be for everybody, but somebody know who E is. Big E. What's up, Big E? <laughs> okay. On the 20th. On the twentieth, Aquarius. Ooh, you got the lovers card, darling. The lovers card, Gemini card, twin flame. Okay. Yeah, you really feeling deeply passionate. You really all in your emotions. Uh huh. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Yeah. You in your emotions because look at that. This person brought you a lot of pain in the past. Oh, you're going to be experiencing pain on this particular day. All right? And it was clarified by the lovers. <laughs> they want to make sure you understand. Oh, I understand that this lover did the most to you. It hurt you deeply. Mm-hmm. You also got the Queen of Cups on here. Okay? Now, we know this Queen of Cups is a loving and nurturing woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's watching her lamp. Now, I don't see no cup in her hand. She got a big ass lamp though. But uh and you know what? This is the first time I noticed this though, but only one of one of her lamp one of her uh candles is lit. The other candle that went out. Ooh, this queen of ones is, is it looks like she she breaking her own heart. If she wants to she can cut out, she can turn off one of one of one of her uh one of her candles that went out. Or she turned it off. I think, oh, she turned it off. Yeah, she turned it off. Okay, so she's she's thinking about, is is it worth it? Is love worth it? Yeah, she's thinking about it. Also, the next card came out saying, pray for us. Okay, so, if anybody know anything, uh, the history about candles. Uh, candles used to be lit way back in the 1800s and stuff, so, uh, People that was traveling would be able to find their way, okay, in the dark. Uh, a, a soldier or something is trying to find his way home, okay. They would leave a lighter candle or something lit for them to find their way. Look at this queen, this queen of cups. You might not be able to see it, but one of her lights is out. So either she turned it off. Because she feel like there might not be no more hope. Or she's feeling kind of, what you call it, pessimistic about the relationship. Or she's lighting it. So uh, her lover can find a way. Which is also a form of prayer. Okay. A 
Aquarius, they say, watch your six pack. Now, if you're like me, you don't have a six pack. You know what I'm saying? But uh, those of you that are, you know, that's into physical fitness, uh, you might want to uh, check, watch yourself because you might be doing a little extra overindulging. And also, if you are drinking and you're around people, uh, they still say watch your six pack. Could be a six pack of Coke. You know, somebody trying to get you. Aquarius, on this day, you also going to have somebody around you with a crab mentality. Somebody that don't want to see you get up. Be on your feet. Mm-hmm. And you might, you might be tempted to uh, do some physical harm to somebody. All right? But, you, yeah. All right, Aquarius. So now let's go to the 21st. Aquarius, are you feeling kind of dizzy? Somebody may be feeling a little dizzy or experiencing little sharp headaches. Um, Aquarius, um, on the bottom of the, both of these decks, I want to show you what you had on the bottom of both of these decks. On the bottom of this deck, you had uh, you have a, the tower card, so you got the tower twice. Okay. On the other one, you have the five of swords twice. Okay. Fives with no means change. All right. Fires we know mean change. So you got a double tower. You got a double five of swords. All right. Let's go to the 21st. The 21st of November, 2022. You got the four pentacles. Okay. Uh, you're not going to be spending no money. You're going to be watching your money. Or you feeling like you don't have enough. Okay. You might also be feeling like you are uh, not able to move forward. Okay, so you got a project that you're working on, Aquarius, and you feel like that you don't have enough to be able to uh, complete it. So now you're in, a, you're in a, this mode of thinking. You're trying to figure it out, make a decision. Uh, you may have your name might be Yvette, Y or V. Or it might have it in your name. Or uh, whatever you're working on might be some ibis. Who knows? You might be trying to grow some ibis or else do an arrangement of an ibis for, as a project for a wedding or business or a corporation to put inside of their uh, offices. However, uh, of course, they're telling you to keep your money tight like your game. So, yeah, you are experiencing some, some money uh, issues right now. Okay. And all of this has been clarified. Okay, so, yeah, but of course, you don't have to just, just feel like that you can't do, because uh, your next set of cards, which is uh, the 22nd, the 22nd says, you got the Wheel of Fortune, that's your first card, the Wheel of Fortune, okay? And the Wheel of Fortune, ooh, is pointing towards, uh, ooh, the Magician, baby, you got this, you got this, you got this, all right? Yes, it's pointing towards the uh, Magician for the 23rd, mm-hmm, it says, uh, you got the, uh, the Six of, you got the Six of Pentacles here, and you had the Six of Pentacles, yeah, okay, so this is you, uh, feel, being balanced, Sharing, uh, giving to those that you might feel like that are needy, uh, or people in your family that might need something. Okay, but as I'm looking at this picture, this is a person that's looking at others. It's, it's you know what on this picture, I'm gonna tell you what it looked like you doing Aquarius. So you know how you pass down the street and you had a red light or something, somebody standing out there with a sign saying, uh, uh. We'll work for food, or I need food, but nobody's giving them food. They're out just giving them money. Uh, or somebody got to sign up to say, just I just need 50 cents. Okay, something like that. Well, just look on this person's face, and this is exactly what I got. It's like somebody asking you for money, and you looking at them like, really? Do you really need this money? You acting like you really need this money. Okay, now you well balanced and everything. And uh, in this picture, you're giving it to somebody to act like they really need it. But uh, the person that really need it is the person that you ain't giving it to. 
You're giving a person that is exaggerating to the point of saying they really need it, but it's that flag mofo over there who really need it. Aquarius, uh, you might be dealing with somebody that's bilingual that's doing this to you, okay? Who's a workaholic or a boss, okay? Who has a letter G in their name, probably call it said GG, a G, you know, or N of L. It might be an initial, might be the apartment number they live in, it's G. Okay, either you or this person uh, uh, is on medication, or the person could actually be uh, addicted to pills. The 23rd Aquarius, you have the magician card. You're able to do anything that you put your mind into. You're a powerful and very spiritual person. And I've never met Aquarius that haven't been able to accomplish anything they put their mind to do. All right. Yeah, you got the page of cups. You got some good news coming in. All right? You really got some good news coming in to you real soon. Uh-huh. Once you get this good news, you're going to be able to move forward. And it's going to make you feel more victorious and stuff. All right? Yeah. You're going to feel victorious about it. Yeah, you're about to put something down. You're going to end something and start something new. All right? And what I got was that you're going to end a relationship. Now, I'm going to tell you what I got on the first day, and then I'm going to go back here and tell you. On the first day, it said that you was going to, you got this time moment, you're going to uh, uh, go ahead and cut your losses. Because uh, <clears throat> you found out that somebody was doing some cheating and stealing a two-time, a double-time, a triple-time, or whatever they was doing. Uh, yeah, you also found out about something about... Uh, but your money, the money was looking good, or the money was looking good with this queen, this queen of pentacles. Okay, she's the one that got the money and stuff. She's also a shift leader at a job. Okay, and she ain't hurting for nothing. She ain't hurting. Okay, but she found out that somebody was cheating, which might be you. You found out that somebody was cheating. Okay, not only that, uh, this last day, uh, which is the 23rd, uh, told me that you're the magician. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna get some news about you're gonna get some good news about something that's gonna make you feel good. You're gonna be able to move forward in whatever this is that you were doing that's creative in your endeavors, right? But you're gonna put it to a rest whatever this foolishness was was going on on the 17th. Yeah, with this soul sucker. Uh-huh. Who belonged to somebody else. Okay. Okay. Who might be a water sign. Okay. Yeah, you say we ain't even starting over. You say fuck that shit. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, this is the earth sign. All right, now, Aquarius, you probably going to have the longest one. You know I like Aquarius, right? I'm not being partial. I'm just saying I like Aquarius. So let's go back on the 17th again, all right, Aquarius. Now, on the 17th, you got this towel moment because somebody was sharing with somebody else, and they also, it became a burden, and it was your lover, all right? All right? Not only was it your lover, but... uh. It caused somebody to be not be able to move forward with their money. However, things are still going to work out in your favor. Okay? Because you're the magician, you can make things happen. Yeah, you may have lost something. You might have had to cut your losses. Okay? As being a king of wands or a king of wands had to cut his losses. But somebody decided they're going to move forward. Okay? Okay? Uh, yeah. They were letting this heartbreak go. Mm-hmm. Build them with somebody new now. Yep. Yeah. Gonna balance and share their money with somebody new now. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So you're waiting on some good news. Yeah, you got some good news coming in about some money. You're about to collaborate with somebody. You're dropping this hard ache. You, you keep moving forward. Okay, towards this king of wands. Yeah, and the king of wands is cutting his losses too. So you got a whole new guy, a new gal coming in. New boo. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you put an end to that foolishness. Yeah. So you say you're going to start something new. Okay. Yeah, it had you all up in your head and stuff. You had to think about what you was going to do. Okay. So you decided to go ahead on the hook back up with your twin flame. All right, yeah. Uh, either you or this person is a little more mature. Yeah, this person said they've been doing a lot of praying and stuff for you and them. Okay, yeah. 
Okay, and uh, this person is very, very sexual. You know, you already know about this person. You already know what the, you already know about this person. Yeah, it's gonna bring you some good luck as well. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. This person makes you feel more youthful, make you feel more childish. Okay, and more more nostalgic. You 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 feel more comfortable with this person. All right. Yep. Y'all gonna be y'all gonna be doing y'all gonna be y'all gonna be y'all gonna be nasty. Y'all gonna be nasty. That's right. Okay. You got uh you got money. You're gonna have money coming in. All right. And if you are this queen of cups, yeah, you're gonna still have money coming in. Yep. You you shift leader. Okay. Uh, and you work at an establishment, and you got status as well as you are respected. Okay, you got somebody that likes to that, that really likes your derriere. Okay, okay, uh, you know, I, yeah, it's an ass worshiper. You know, if you don't know nothing about an ass worshiper, uh, uh, you you gonna find out. Yeah, this person this could be your twin flame. It is your twin flame. Got the letter E in their name. All right. This person also needs to, this person, you need to watch out for your, your, uh, your eating habits. If you have a six pack of your person that likes to exercise and take care of it, you might be having to deal with some people that don't want to see you go forward or as a particular person that likes to keep pulling you back down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Want to mess with you like that. And yeah, you feeling like you might have to put them hands on, but you know. Aquarius got a lot of control. Yep. Your name might have an e, Yvette, Yvonne, a Y and a V in it, or at the end or something. Yep, they're telling you that you need to make sure that you keep your money, your money, you're getting your money tight. In other words, watch your money, watch your spending, okay? It might be somebody who, who is bilingual, who is a workaholic. They got a G in their name, or they call themselves GG, or a G, Gail, I hear Gail, okay? Uh, who may also be on medication or somebody that likes to take pills and stuff for recreational. Okay, this person, uh, at the end of the week, you realize that you're dealing with somebody that just uh, takes your, drains your energy. Okay, so you realize this person don't belong to you. They belong to somebody else. It could be a water sign or earth sign. However, you're cutting that shit out. All right, Aquarius, this has been your reading. Please like, share, subscribe, and come back, and I'll be back to do another one for you. Yeah, yeah. Y'all forgive me. I have to get up and turn it off because my remote over here didn't stop working. Really?